Welcome back. This is part two of Mega Man 2. Ha <laughs> ha And we're going to go on to Heat Man. And I mentioned in my last video the uh, Hyaden Mega Man remix for Bubble Man. He's also done one for Heat Man, and it too is awesome. And <laughs> I want to see people... I want to hear of people actually making love to this song. Because that would just be pure awesome. And you know what else would be awesome? That. Just Metal Blades tearing through shit and and shit tearing through metal blades. How about that? Ah! That threw me off, you stupid, stupid... Uh, I find it interesting. If you go through, if you have the chance, go through and get a Mega Man 2 ROM and go through one of those editing, you know, those game editors that they have for them. And if you can edit the tile properties, you'll notice that the lava itself does not kill you. However, the, the uh, block that's under the lava does kill you. Very weird. Oh. Uh, so. I was actually... I actually have worked with some of those editors, and one of the things I wanted to do was make it to where you actually go under the lava like it was water or something. It's... It, it, it'd make it just kind of really weird. And I don't feel like dealing with the blocks, so item three. Bing! Yay! Okay, so... We all live in a yellow submarine. I don't know why that came into my head, but that's okay. Because everybody loves the Beatles. And if you don't love the Beatles, then what's wrong with you? Uh, okay, so, okay, here we go. Another disappearing, reappearing block. And do. Do. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Ah, come on. Off my head. Off my head. Yeah, you. I'm just gonna do this. And hey, look at this. Oh yeah, that's right. We item two. If I only had the item number two, it would make it so much easier to beat this level. But every time, every time, I always seem to lose. Yes, I do love that song. Ah ha 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 ha. You know they have this exact. They, they had this area replicated in uh, Mega Man 9 Endless Mode <laughs> with a one-up, complete with one-up, which is not really a one-up. It's the uh, met-up, as I call it. I'm going to call it the met-up because it's a replica. If it, it's, it's a met, that looks like a one-up. Oh, first time I saw one of those in Mega Man 9, it threw me off so bad. <laughs> and I was pissed, too. It was like, that's not a one-up? Fuck! Oh, so let's see. B B Q. Oh my God! What the fuck? Barbecue. And he's gray because it's bubble lead, you know. And lead is usually gray. And it's very hard. It's usually very hard to avoid uh, Heat Man's initial attack here. Oh man. But yeah, it's he's fun. Wee! But once you get into a pattern, he's easy. Doom 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 doom. Right, another pop. Another pop. Drink pop here. Mm. Oh, wow. Nom, 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 Yeah, my dad doesn't like the cola that I'm drinking, but I love it. <laughs> what I'd love to have with me while doing this is, a, you know, a few bottles of Lambic. For those who don't know, um, I don't, I may have, I probably have talked about it in previous videos, but Lambic is a Belgian fruit beer. Well, I call it Belgian fruit beer. It's beer basically with fruit flavoring, and it's really good. Um, the closest place I can get it is in Panama City, unfortunately. And that's a good 50 dr mile drive for me. Oh. And we're gonna go for Woodman. He's made of wood. I don't know what possessed Dr. Wily to make him out of wood. I mean, and, and you'd, you'd think, no, 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 that's just fan made. That's just fan. And no, I, I think it is now official canon that Woodman is made of wood. How does he do that? I mean, just how? Ah. So of course you'd think you'd think him being made of wood, you know, pretty much any weapon could really do him in. But you know, still the rock paper scissors style here. So you know, not just any weapon will do him in. Oh hi, hi doggy. How much is that doggy breathing fire? I don't want to know because I don't want to have a dog breathe fire on me. You know, even though that dog could probably cook its own food. 
I'm not going to go there. And just for kicks, time stopper. Yay! To keep that doggy out of here. I don't want to deal with that one. So I'm going to keep going. Yay! And twinkle, twinkle. I'm sparkling worse than a Twilight vampire. <laughs> oh, yeah. Twilight is one of those things. Don't get me started on that on Twilight. And apparently, I'm not the only one either. Uh, it's it's gotten to one of the it's one of those things that's like Pokemon. Everybody has reviewed it. Everybody has talked about it. You know, so it's like you talk about it, you might want to have something new there. Oh. Although I have to wonder, am I the only person so far? Uh, for those who have watched either watched the movie or watched a review of the movie, when Edward just goes running out of the science class, am I the only one who thought that he was running out to go furiously masturbate? <laughs> I mean, that's what he looks like. It's like, I gotta go masturbate now. Because the I will t I will be honest, the only credit I will give Twilight is the fact that the movie hired uh, Kristen Stewart to play Bella, and she is kind of hot. So, you know, she's got the pale ginger redhead thing going on. Yeah, that's kind of hot. But that's about the only credit I give this movie. Hey, look, running cock. Yay! Whee! Yeah, don't get cock slapped. And look at that. Those things those things are impervious to metal blades. How about that, huh? So yeah. We're going to go and we're going to burn some wood. It's bonfire time! <laughs> Interestingly enough, these things don't burn through your leaf shield. That's strange. Yes. And this is definitely difficult mode because in easy mode it would have taken him in only one hit. But this took him two. But hey, that's cool. Ah, doom, 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 doom. Let's see. I guess. I guess while we're waiting, I guess you know. Uh, let's see. I got the mixer over here. That I need to fiddle with at some point. Oh, excuse me. I got the leaf shield and Doctor Wiley. Yay, Doctor Wiley. <laughs> uh, you know, he's trying to take over the world. Of course! <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So, let's see. Um, it's going into the castle. Ooh. The castle where he has all sorts of toys that he can play with. You know, you have. I, I always wonder. Maybe this is just my crazy warped mindset. But, um, do you think Dr. Wily's ever made any robots for uh, his pleasure, if you will? I mean, you can't say he made Slash Woman a role. Okay, maybe roll, but, you know, but I don't think he's a pedophile, so, you know, he may be evil, but he's not sick, you know, he may be evil, but he's not a sicko, you know, <laughs> which sounds really weird, because it's like, yeah, he's the one who wanted to take over the world, of course, um, yay, and of course, the bad part about not having the game music is the fact that you don't get to hear the music for this level, and it's like, one of the best Mega Man songs ever. Like, ever. I mean, I mean, there's only one song that I have found better than this, and if you want to know what that is, go watch my first top 14 list, because it involves Mega Man music. <laughs> so, but yeah, it, it's, it's a really good song, and it's sad that you guys have to miss it, because, ow, ow fucker. You know what, fuck you, I don't need that. Yeah. Uh, how often do I use the item three, anyways? <laughs> and then, and then uh, I can just see it now. Like five minutes later, I'll see it, and I'll be like, "Fuck, I need it." Oh, excuse me. Oh, there you go. Yay! Hmm. This reminds me of an old Nintendo Power comic, where um, the Howard bot got the question wrong, saying that this was an impossible jump, and Esther's like, "Nope, you just use the item ones." Yay! Yay for item one. And may as well get my weapons ready for this fucking dragon. Oh, I don't like this dragon too much. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's just kind of a random thing I saw on the screen because I kind of glanced at it for a bit because I knew I didn't need to look at the screen for a moment. And somebody is saying he would do the uh, he would do sexual things of a sexual nature to Fergie, which okay I'll give him that because I would too. Oh yeah, don't let this dragon touch you, or you will die. You will die a horrible, horrible death. Now get up here, and... Ah! Fire's... Okay, you... There you go. Boom! 
Turbo controller, good reflexes, and a quick boomerang. And look at that, you still see the outline in the upper left there. It's kind of flashing there. <laughs> I was like, wow. Uh, oh, 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 no. Oh, that's bad. Somebody says that Lady Gaga needs to be raped. I don't think so. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I mean, you, you might find me writing a joke about it, but in all seriousness, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that on anybody, because that is a horrible thing. And I think that's one of the things, I believe that's one of the things that George Carlin, you know, was talking about when he said, you know, you can joke about anything. Depends on how you construct a joke. And I also think, to add on to that, as long as you understand that, you know, as long as you and your audience both understand that, um, that, uh, you know, you, you don't really condone it, you know, and that it's, that it's a horrible thing, then it should be okay, you know? And plus, I think, I, I know I've mentioned this in another video, but being able to laugh at something, and this is something I will always repeat and I will always hold myself to. To be able to laugh at something... Uh oh falling a little too fast? There we go. You know, to be able to laugh at something, it, you know, takes a lot of the power out of it. You know, and, and yeah, there are some things that, you know, some things that would take more time than others to laugh at, you know? And, and, uh, you know, for those, you know, like, like, like the rape thing, you know? You know, you know, maybe you could get, maybe you, as like a rape victim, could eventually go one day and say, you know, you know, be able to look at, look your rapist in the eye and say, yeah, you know, if you weren't so, if you weren't, um, feeling like you had to compensate for something, then maybe you wouldn't have raped me, you know, that sort of thing. You know, you know, make fun of the size of his dick. You know, that would take some power out of him. You know, because that's showing, yeah, you know, you're not scared of him. Which, you know, rape is supposed to be all about power anyways, right? So if he has no power over you, then he's pretty much lost. Which is just a good thing. So I, I do condone, you know, when you're able, when you're ready, you know, go ahead, make fun of it. When you're able and when you're ready. And no, not necessarily in front of everybody. I mean I mean come on, there's there are limits to everything. So, you know, use your use your, use your own discretion for that. Wow, <laughs> I spent enough time talking about stuff that A, I've already talked about before, and B, that are a little controversial. <laughs> but, you know, hey, you, you get, life is full of controversies, so... And some of my rants are going to get... Con uh, some of my rants are controversial, so... And there's going to be more... Excuse me, that are going to be more controversial, of course. <sighs> and I got another friend trying to message me on Yahoo. Of course, she doesn't realize that I'm busy doing this, so I can't really respond to her. But that's okay. If she's watching this, she'll realize it. Oh, okay. What do these guys do? Do they just walk, run around and just run into you? Uh. Oh well, that's okay though. Yeah. So um, and what she's sending me is a little too personal for this. So um, I'm not gonna do that because if she watches this and she finds out, she will kill me. So um, so yeah, yeah. Like you need to know that, right? Um, once you go African-American, you don't go back. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know about that. But then again, this is also coming from somebody who's never been with a black woman. <laughs> Sexually, that is. <laughs> um, not that I wouldn't. I, I actually am curious about it. Ah, where, why, why, I keep going back to sex. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, what's up with that? Um... So yeah. Um, let's see. Yay, water, 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 water everywhere. Another drop to drink. Oh man, this is some rusty, shitty water. Ugh. It's like if you took rust and shit and put it together, you'd have this water. Now I can usually. Oh come on, really? Really? Ouch! Ouch, man. That's just wrong. Ah. Oh well, gives me a chance to do this. And there you go. And we can do this. Yay! We fallen, free fallen. Ah oh, man. So um, 
So yeah, um, doop, 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 doop. boink boink boink. <laughs> um, let's see, what else is there to talk about? Um, let's see, make sure we're not gonna get smacked by that thing this time, which was so horrible. I mean, it's like it was, it's like just two pixels over, two to two to four pixels over, and I still got pwned. It was so wrong of the game. D four. Ow. Fucker. Come here. Come here. Blast, 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 blast. Blam, 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 blam. Alright. We're going pink again. Because I'm pink. Oh, man. So. Yeah, I've decided that one of the things I'm going to have on my new podcast is, um. is, uh, a, a section. Yeah, I'm like trying to discuss podcast news and beat the guts tank at the same time. Oh man. So um, let's see. Uh. <laughs> oh man, one of the people in the Skype chat just typed in all small caps and really really <laughs> really made one of the guys be like Arr! Oh, and I ad- I admit that does get to me. That is annoying when you're typing. It it is mainly a text-based interface. A lot of these IMs, and you're you're not gonna type properly. That annoys the shit out of me. I mean, I'm not even an English major. I'm a theater major. You know, I got I got my little my little associate's degree in theater, and you know, I never I took only the English classes I needed to do. Although I would like to dual major in English. That way I could at least get an English teaching job. And maybe teach these kids how to speak and how to write. Because, oh my god. Ugh. Like, I have a cousin who refuses to speak properly. And her justification is, well, I ain't in school. It's like, I don't care if you're not in school. You go to school to learn how to speak properly. I mean, if you're not going to speak properly, then why go to school? I think she's a high school dropout. <laughs> Which it's it's you'd think it's the the uh, punchline to a joke, but it's not. Uh, this is the same cousin who um, who if you listen to like my old radio show episodes, I actually talked about her in my first episode, and she was the one who uh, got knocked up by a 13 year old. Note that she was 18 at the time. Yeah, and, and I know and I know people you know she's probably gonna get hate mail, but wait, no, she won't because I'm not giving her address. <laughs> But then again, I could probably get hate mail and I could forward it to her. <laughs> They're like, see all these people that hate you? Uh, and with good reason. I mean, this is also the same one. And I know this is like... Oh, man. I guess this is just me kind of venting here or something. I don't know. But this is the same cousin who wants to live off of everybody else. I mean, quite literally. I mean, she has two kids. She won't let her now husband work. And she wants pretty much everybody else to pay her way. And what's really sad is she should be in prison, but no. And uh, I bring I bring all that up because she recently had a spill at a Walmart. You know, she was running around in the rain without her shoes on. You know, and I guess you know. And to be fair, they should have the uh, slippery don't run signs or whatever. But at the same time, I consider you know what it's common sense. But you know, you gotta cater to the idiots. And uh, she fell, she hit her head, and ended up having to go to the hospital. Which was really bad. But, she's saying she's going to try and get on disability and everything. She's like, I'm officially disabled now. I'm like, okay, you fell, you hit your head, got your back, let's see. I mean, I can understand, I can understand maybe the hospital thing. Because it is Walmart protocol to, you know, call an ambulance for somebody like that. And, you know, hey, fine. You know, I can, I can deal with that. That's fine. But, um, her being on disability just for that... I find it hard to believe, knowing her. You know, and I'm not saying that it couldn't happen. I'm not saying that would never happen. And holy shit, I'm getting up to the 20-minute mark. <laughs> I'm just going here ranting on about my family like you guys care. <laughs> oh, man. But who knows? She will eventually be the brunt of some of my jokes at one point or another. Oh, uh, man. So, so yeah. Um, I also have another cousin that that a friend of mine is called um, <clears throat> that a friend of mine is called um, um, what is she called Miss Burns because uh, her stupidity and her selfishness led to her to her kids being burn victims 
And um, I say that I say it lightly like that, but um, in honest, in all honesty, yeah, pretty stupid of her. Okay, we need item three, and we need you to not shoot me. Ugh, oh well. Can't get everything I wish, right? So let's see. Crash bomber. And come on, and you. Yes. Yes, you. Okay. Oh, hey, you missed me. Ha ha. Missed me. And we gotta try this. We gotta. Oh, hey, look at that. And, aw, oh, man, it's not gonna work. But that's okay. And item one. And let's see. Crash bomber. Ow! How dare you knock me back down there? Yeah, this is gonna have to work, cause, um. Ah! Uh oh. Gonna need energy tank. Gonna need energy tank. Need it. Yes! Ha! Sucks to you, I have an energy tank. <laughs> ha ha ha. Come on. Yep. Aw, oh, man. Missed. That's okay, though. Yes! And one more. And I'll just leave this here. <laughs> Yay! Ah, yes, so. So, okay. Uh, let's see, the next section is just eight robot masters and then Dr. Wily for the final battle. So. Oh. Oh, his one did come. Ooh. Mm. It's, it's, my body is messing up my outro. So I'm going to stop it here, and I will see you in part three. Until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.